Okay, what's up guys? Uh, welcome once again to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I'm Zar and uh, today I'm going to vlog about this new helmet that I just bought. Okay, just stay with me. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Subhanalladhi sakhara lana hadha ma kunna lahul mukrinin wa inna ila rabbina lamun qalibun. Okay guys, uh, today I'll be reviewing this uh, helmet, the Vimar Sharky. I just bought this about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I already did an unboxing video with uh, Farhan. And um, yeah, today I'm going to review it uh, while riding. And I'm going to give my feedback about this helmet. Okay guys. So, I just bought this helmet uh, a couple of weeks ago at Jong Aik and uh, I bought this for like what $200 was retailing at $200 and the great people at Jong Aik are very helpful indeed uh, you know very friendly stuff I have to applaud that um, so the Vima Sharky why I choose the Vima Sharky? Why? Because it was within my budget. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to find a modular helmet because the the current helmet I'm using, the Taras number one, um, is not really suitable for vlogging because it's pretty noisy. The noise from that helmet actually drowns the audio, so that's why I'm a bit. Uh, you don't see me producing a lot of uh, videos because I, I was trying to, you know, uh, troubleshoot, configuring uh, what is the best uh, helmet setup. So I got this modular helmet. Um, I must say, this helmet fits me nice. It's comfortable. And the lining inside is actually uh, one piece, you know, one piece like helmet lining. You you see in Farhan's video because I did an um, unboxing with him. This helmet weighs about one point five kilos, plus minus, you know. Yeah, our modular helmets are heavy, a bit heavier because of uh, the extra weight on the chin, chin area. So far, at uh, 50, 60 kilometers per hour, there's not much wind noise. It's pretty, uh, I can say lah, a bit quiet lah compared to my uh, the other helmet. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ride on to 70 and 80 kilometers per hour, and with my visor up. Okay, even at 80 km per hour, the, the wind noise from the visor is not too loud, you know, compared to the Taras. To the Taras, I cannot ride with my visor up at speeds above 60 km per hour, which is kind of irritating because I like to ride with visor up, you know. I like to ride with a visor up, you know, I can feel the wind in my face. Uh, with this one, even with my visor up, it's not as noisy. Which is I like, which which is one thing I like about it. At 80 km per hour, even the wind noise, okay, is not too uh, deafening. I was hoping for it to be a little bit more quiet. But, I mean, what do you expect? A $200 helmet, right? Uh, unless, unless Chong Ai is willing to sponsor me uh, showing your tech or what <laughs> well, I expect uh, more comfort and more quietness uh, on the higher higher end helmet like Shogi or RI or what um, AGV but it's okay I mean I'm cool with it I'm not using it I'm not using it to race anyway right 
uh, let's talk about the features I like about this helmet. Uh, I like the way this uh, uh, visor, you know, this the shape of the visor looks make it makes it look more garang, you know, very fierce. Um, okay, this is the the uh, what do you call that? The air inlet over here and at the top here oh i can actually feel the wind coming in my hand <laughs> yeah yeah sellers okay this is close open i can actually feel the wind coming into the helmet <laughs> uh one more thing one more thing i like about the this uh this model of helmet this helmet is the beneath the chin strap there is a flap of you know this thing it actually it, which actually helps to you know reduce the the wind uh, the static wind noise uh, created at the, around this area right and the, another feature that I look for uh, when I'm buying a new helmet is this the sun visor yeah okay I look for that because uh, you know being a bespectacled guy I cannot wear sunglasses alright and I don't have any prescription sunglasses although my my lenses in my glasses right now are fitted with photo transition lens this actually helps a lot in um, riding oh, ready on hey cardo radio off so at 80 kilometers per hour I'm, I'm traveling at 80 kilometers per hour right now uh, but it, it's not so noisy I can still hear and, and the best part I can hear my engine better this way in this helmet than my the other helmet right Taras open face <laughs> the addition to a helmet a, a well uh, or some kind of a recess inside the shell that accommodates to uh, speakers and mine and the one that is built, built here is wide enough uh, to accommodate the, the speakers for this carb carbon pack top bowl which I will cover in very soon with Farhan Let's talk about this brand, the VMAR helmet brand. According to the booklet that comes along with uh, the helmet, uh, it says that VMAR has been making helmets, producing helmets since like what, 80s, 70s? And they have been making uh, helmets for racing and for all sorts, you know, being an OEM manufacturer. However, I, one thing I'm really pissed off is that I could not find an official website, bro. There's no official website on the booklet. Does not lead me to anywhere. Lead, doesn't lead me to anywhere. And the QR code, which was supposed to be uh link to the website company's website right which is of course a different url altogether uh, also doesn't bring me anywhere <laughs> i'm pissed i am pissed royally pissed no, i'm not gonna sugarcoat it i'm pissed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i am royally pissed it sucks, you know, I just wanted to know, find out uh, more about the brand, the, the helmet ring in its ranges But I can find nothing The only thing that I 
funny whenever I when I Google this brand Vimar is um, online shops online shops uh, from India from the UK from a few other countries yeah Well, while I was browsing the online shops that was uh, available mm. uh, to look for replacement visors, you know, replacement visors. Frankly speaking, honestly speaking, every rider out there has at least once dropped their helmet. Be a cheap helmet or an expensive helmet, you have dropped the helmet. And the shit part and the most irritating part is when your visor is scratched with a deep gash across the, the your v vision oh man that sucks that really sucks you know i was looking through some of the online shops for replacement visors yes they do sell uh, i do know one one particular online shop that was based in the uk it was selling a replacement visor for this helmet at 36 pounds 36 pounds bro that's almost like 60 dollars plus sing dollar and not including shipping not forgetting the shipping shipping i think will put me back up to like what a total of a hundred plus that's ridiculous bro that's ridiculous a hundred plus just for a replacement visor I might as well buy a new helmet I think I should go back and ask Chong I did they actually sell replacement visors for this particular model It'd be good, you know. I'll be coming back again. I'm very, I'm very sure I will scratch my visor sooner or later. I know myself. No matter how I sayang sayang, <laughs> definitely yeah. So, but this time round, I'll try to make to take extra precaution in sayang sayang my helmet. I think I think I should covered enough yeah so how would I rate this helmet okay upon 10 let's go for weight weight I think I will give a six you know it's a bit on the heavy side okay one at 1 1.5 almost close to 1.6 you know it's not really um, light the wind noise factor I will give a seven a seven seven and a half seven and a half upon ten for the wind noise factor price for price I would say I would give it a seven seven and a half I think it's affordable for for majority of the riders at two hundred dollars is not too expensive compared to the premium range of uh, modular helmets out there. Comfort or 
okay lah comfort I give uh, uh, seven and a half or so my verdict overall I will give a uh, seven seven point five um, yeah uh, if you guys want to get this particular helmet, the Sharky V more, uh, you can get it from uh, Chong Ai Trading. Uh, it's at 45 Desker Road. So if you guys like this video, hit on the like button and uh, share it with your riding khakis. And don't forget to subscribe. If you have anything else, uh, if you any have any comments, feedback or suggestions, Put them in the comment section below uh, and once again don't forget to subscribe my name is Zar and I'll see you in the next video